Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We are here, and I guess I just realized I really haven't shown you this new stuff yet. Um, so this is the biome that I showed you in the last episode. Um, we originally spawned a little bit right over there, like right at the edge of the plains in the, the snowy biome. Well, this big mountain, I decided that I wanted to uh, use it as sort of my interim main base thing. And I thought, you know what, let's instead of building on the outside, let's hollow this thing out and kind of make it our little place where we're going to have a little bit of farms, a little bit of uh, storage and stuff. And as we build out what we have here, I did a little, a little bit of exploring too, just to kind of see the landscape. Um, so this is the go-to place for now. And then as I build out, uh, we will obviously make different places into some of the farms I have here to replace the small little setups I'll have here and try to make them bigger and grander um, out there. So very, <laughs> haven't got much done. I've been slowly uh, mining it out. I've been kind of wanting to get a beacon to make it go faster, but I have spent quite a bit of time in the nether at two different nether fortresses. I found one that's relatively close to where the portal is on the other side. And it, I didn't like the layout after I watched some videos on how to make wither skeleton farms. And so I went exploring for another one, found another one. And this, that one is much, much bigger, which actually has a double blaze spawner right kind of next to each other, which I'll eventually make into a double blaze farm. But the problem with it is that it's it's massive, it's over land, it would take a lot of work to turn it into a wither skeleton farm. Whereas the one that's closer, even though it's smaller, I feel like would take less work. Um, so let's go into the nether real quick. And it must have, did it go through? Where did it go? Sorry, I'm looking, I wanted to show you what I did to the nether because it was walking. Um, did it go through? It must have went through when I broke it. Is it sitting here on the other side? Yes, it is. Okay. So I I, I made a little bit, uh, just clear, cleared out a little bit of area here. Started um, making the pathway for a boat to go on here. So I've, I've dug out one side. Uh, this only, and this goes to the first nether fortress, which is the one where I think I'm going to make the skeleton, or the wither skeleton farm eventually. Uh, and then I want to eventually build it. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, really? Oh my gosh. That's never happened before. I don't know how many times I've gone on here and I've never got caught on that. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, it just went through on its own again. <laughs> there we go. And so this go, I think. Really? Really? There we go. So this goes just right up till here. And where this is, is this is the first uh, f fortress. <laughs> whoa, fortress that I have. And so that's, that's, whoa, geez. So that's what we've done so far here is we've, we've made that. And I'm glad that we have something here. Whoa, whoa. Have something here to make it go faster. So then I used to just be like, oh, I'm not going to go do this stuff because it's in the nether and I got to go to it and so was, it, it had something had to be done so i went and got some packed ice and made it happen I'm gonna make it a little bit nicer i already have my design uh for this not necessarily the design but the thought on it what this will eventually be is you know the the hyper tunnel that goes through uh in the fight scene on, on black panther that's what this will eventually look like it's gonna have the little arms overhang and then i'm gonna get those new little uh, i think they're from the the end the lights from the end or whatever those little sticks that it, it's gonna look good i have a design in my creative world and oh, excited for it but i have to get i think i think those come from the end if i remember correctly and from the those houses you get the shelker boxes from uh so that all still has to be done so in today's episode though i want to i want to build out a super smelter so i'm going to dig out some more of this make it a little bit higher and then get going so what i want to do in here today is, is is make a super smelter get things going 
dig out a little bit more of this. I only have Cora now, so there's no automated fuel source yet, which will eventually, I think, be bamboo. But as of right now, I'll just stock it with coal. But I want something because I am um, turning nether rack into nether brick because of the requirements that will need to be done for making a wither skeleton farm. So at least the one I watched. Maybe I'll do some more research, make sure, because you need another brick, because that's all that the withers, withers will spawn on. Wither skeletons, I should say. So we're going to dig out a little bit more of this, make a maybe a 10, 10 wide super smelter or, some, or so, and, and make it work. So after that little creeper episode, this is what we have. <laughs> Not at all what I expected uh, for a super smelter. Um, I did have a machine here that took up probably... If you want to come maybe out to here, up to where like the nether was, just this whole area right here. Um, I I did a little bit of research, did a little bit of looking online um, of different people's different farms. And it just, I, none of them worked how I wanted a uh, farm to work. And in this space, and what I've kind of thought is just... And what I have going in my head of what I want a super smelter to do, just do, it's, it, I didn't want to put it, take the time to put it in this space. Um, I did see one by one of the guys on SciCraft that was pretty good. And I think that's what I'll eventually go with um, is something similar to what they did. But for now, I had this whole room didn't work exactly like I wanted to redesigned it again. Didn't work exactly like I wanted it to. Um, so just to save time, and since I know that's not the final super smelter I'll build um, in this area, this is what I did for now. Just the coal here, the stuff's being smelted in there and going this way. I did add these levers, levers in case if I do want to gather the XP, I can have them sit here and I can gather the XP. Uh, I don't do that very often. I really only do that if I'm like in this area for an extended period of time. Uh, and then... In that time, I also built a ba little bamboo farm. Nothing special. It's just something to slowly gather um, so that hopefully I can eventually get rid of using coal and just go to bamboo. I do think I will expand this in this base since I have the sort of layout here, but this is where it's going to go for now. So those are, yeah, not insanely updates. I've been in the nether a lot uh, compared to here. Like, I've been using golden carrots now. Oh my gosh, I'm advancing. Um, <laughs> my pants broke too, but, <laughs> but what we're going to do here too, in, in this little spot right here, I want to build a, I'm, I'll show you guys what I've going on in another, but I'm out of books, right? I have two books left and that's all the books I have. And I'm it, both reasons. One, the leather. So I need to go gather some cows and get some cows in here and start breeding them. Um, but also sugar cane. And around this biome, right, being in the icy biome that, oh, I got a horse, by the way, too. Um, it runs pretty fast. Let me show you. I don't have a name for him yet, but it goes he's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get him in some open space and let, let him run. There we go. Helps me. Definitely. He helps me. He has helped me uh, go to this the desert biome. That's really, I, I use him for places that I want to explore on, obviously, overworld and use them to get there so um but yeah being here in the ice biome you know i mean i could go over there where there's uh over there where there's planes and stuff and use the water over there but i'm just going to um actually now that i think about it i have to find a way to make this sure this doesn't freeze i think torches or maybe redstone lamps maybe because I need it to not freeze. I just that just crossed my mind <laughs> that it could very well freeze even though it's inside. Um, but this hasn't yet, so maybe it won't. Maybe you have to have snow touch it or something. So we're going to build a sugarcane farm, maybe five or six, five or six long. It's going to be the exact same design as that um, without the minecart. Because since I will need water, I'll just use a water stream to transport the items. So it'll be a little different, um, but that's going to be what we use just observers with pistons to push it we'll show you guys what it looks like and voila there it is sugar cane farm not nothing extensive just six sugar cane slowly they'll grow 
and we will slowly be able to make more books. Uh, we just gotta go out, like I said, get the cows and get a little bit of farm going there, but that's good. Those of you that don't know how these simple, compact little farms work, very simple. Uh, let me just show you real quick. So all you literally need is like, from a redstone standpoint is a piston, an observer, and a piece of redstone. And then any block really will do. So like in the case of sugarcane farm, right? Or yeah, sugarcane farm. You need one block clearance for kind of where, where you're gonna be growing your your thing from. And so like in the case of sugarcane, here, sugarcane is right there. And so we always want that one block clearance so that when we break the blocks, there's still something there to grow. And it's just, Piston go on the back side, observer, and then I personally, this is the way I do it. I put put a block behind under the piston right there. I put a, another block there so that when the uh, when the observer detects an update, then it will uh, power the red, the block here, and then it will power a piece of redstone here, and that's how that's how it works. Powers this, powers this, powers this. So as you can see, as soon as it grows, observer's gonna detect it, boom, pushes it, and you're good to go. Very simple, very compact. I really like it. It's a very simple use of really great and simple uh, farm. And you can use it for lots of different farms. You can use it for uh, anything that really grows vertically. Um, won't work for like melons and stuff like that. I mean, you can do something similar for melons, but like a I, there's there's another version that's like a horizontal version rather than a vertical version and you use that for like melons and stuff so but that that's the sugarcane farm now so now we slowly start getting that stuff i have to show you really where i've been spending a lot of my time between the last two episodes which is in the nether and we will get there okay let's go show you guys what we've been doing in the, in the nether so we've been building out i i there it is. I was gonna say my boat should be in here. I like I said last time, I found a double blaze spawn farm or double blaze spawner um, area at another fortress, and so I built out the ice track to go that way. Like I said, this isn't anything fancy yet because I do have plans for it. Um, so it's just quick and dirty means to get further. But I did expand this out. This did, used to stop at the first nether fortress. Not that that's me trying to get here. But this first part right here, it used to be right there. And now I expanded it all the way out to the second nether fortress so that we can... It's so hard. It's so hard to adjust these. There we go. Let's go a little faster. Um, so that we can... I was just running it and I was like, you know, it's not worth it to, to build this out and mine it out and all that stuff. Um, but I found myself going back and forth between the base and here so often that I was... And that it's taken so much time that I was like, you know what? It's worth the going to get in the resources to do it and uh, so that we can move faster because, gosh, running those three, four hundred blocks there at the end that I wasn't going ice pack first anymore uh, was painful every time you wanted to come to here. And especially, like I said, when I was building, kind of going back and forth and doing stuff, it was oh, just annoying. So this is going to be where I eventually build the... I know I would mentioned... This won't be where I build the wither, wither farm, but it, it will eventually be there. So I have to start, um, you know, I've, I've done a little bit of research on it. And it's the way I remember uh, wither skeletons farm going is you'd half slab everything and, and force them to spawn in a certain area. People have now have different designs and different ways of doing things. I don't think I'm going to do it any of those ways. I think I'm going to go the old way that I know of and half slab off the nether fortress, half slab off the other stuff in the nether fortress area, maybe lava it and just whatever, make it unspawnable, and then build out an area uh, with nether rack for those to spawn. So we'll see. Not nether rack, but uh, nether fortress brick. So, oh geez, I didn't, I didn't make, I didn't make this uh, mob proof, <laughs> spawn proof. <laughs> I need to half slab everything down here because you got stuff like this that can happen. Yep, perfect doesn't happen often, but it does happen. So as you can see, I got one blaze spawner done. Really? <laughs> so, like I said, so you can see, I got one blaze spawner done. This is one. The other one is over here, right here. 
So they're really close, which is really nice. So I will eventually get these guys to route into a central area that these guys too will route into so that it's just one killing chamber rather than two. But right now I only have one of them done. So that's just where we're going with right now. Uh, the only problem I'm having with it is, is I can only pack like 50 something entities in here. Um, and I tried expanding this out because they, they dropped down this tunnel, right? There's two. And so when I, it was capping out at about 30, 35, whatever it was, because I know there's a mechanism in the game that if there's, the, you know, basically if there's too many mobs in one area that it, they kill themselves off, suffocate themselves, whatever you want to call it. And so I expanded this out so that they could move freely. And I, I can get it up to about 50, but then they start doing that again. So I have to do a little bit more research on how we can how we can better that. Um, one thing I, I did realize is that I think one thing I could do is I could put some lava in here and um, see if lava would push them over and kind of consolidate them somewhere. That's just a thought I was having. Um, but other than that, this is my new XP farm. Uh, no more cave spider spawner over at the other one. I now have an XP farm here. I have gone back to the other base like twice to do that. Um, but I need to get my pants enchanted because those broke on me before I could repair them because they had no unbranking, so they broke faster and everything else. And I need to, I brought over my fishing rods here to put the, I got mending fishing rods um, that I need to put on these fishing rods. <laughs> that sounded weird. So that these then have mending. Um, and we got to build out that second place spawner. That's what we're going to do. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Two wither skeletons killed. I do not know how many wither skeletons I have killed in this dang base. And uh, that's that's one of the reasons why I'm making the blaze spawner right now. Is I'm like, you know, if I'm going to be over here making this into a wither farm, I need to, or wither skeleton farm, I need to make, I need to have an XP farm over here so that I'm constantly gaining XP while I'm over here making this, making this base. Because I plan on making it where it's the blaze spawner. The way it's going to do is the blaze spawner here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slab out everything here, lava, everything down there that I can so that it, no, no spawnable spaces over there. And then I'm going to make the area that I off of this where the killing chamber is. I'm going to make a huge slab off of that area. And that's going to be the weather, weather skeleton farm. So, oh, it's crazy. I have killed so many let's see how many i mean not that i've killed a ton i'm gonna look at this number and everyone's gonna be like oh my gosh you've only killed that many you've got two skulls already um but if we go and look at the statistics look at mobs uh wither skeletons where are we at wither skeletons oh, okay i've killed 48 but still i feel like i've killed a lot more than that but 48 and then out of the i just there's four of them right there and out of those four i got two wither skeleton skulls so if I can get one more skeleton, skeleton skull or wither skull, um, man, that'll be awesome. And then we'll be able to fight the wither and be able to get a beacon. And I want a beacon. So this tends to happen every once in a while too, where it looks like there's tons of tons spawning in here. And what I've seen with other ones is it doesn't look like they accumulate that much. I don't know if it's because they don't have a like a top on that, so they think they can go up, or or maybe they're I know if they're aggroed on you, see how they're like, see how that happens? Like there's no roof up there. So it's they once they get to a certain height, they can see me. So I don't know if like these guys got aggroed on me at some point. And so now they're trying to get up. Like, I don't, I don't fully know. Ran out of glass. So I have to go to the desert biome and get more glass um, doing this one. But one thing to finish off this episode is I was looking down here. And... Ow. Oh, see that guy, that guy in there got me. Is I saw that thing. I have no clue what that thing is. So I was going to go down and dig down and see what the heck that thing is. It has a chest down there. So I was like, oh, maybe I can get some sort of loot. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Welcome to my baby. <laughs> ah. but other than that oh that's gonna be cool but other than that we got um we're going pretty good we got the one blaze spawner going we got, got the second one on its way this is such a weird path to get down here if i make it back up that's gonna be crazy whoa I almost fell okay and now we have all these magma cubes that want to kill me and 
there's a fire charge, a gold apple. Okay. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Let's get let's get out of here. Oh jeez, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. How'd you die, dude? I died to magma cubes. Magma cubes that killed me. Okay, was there anything else in there? No. There wasn't, then I need to get out of here. But I need to get out of here. Safe. Whew. Okay, made out alive. So we're gonna continue to work on that blaze farmer. Get the double blaze spawner going and get everything working in tip top shape for next episode. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Didn't die. And we yeah, we have zero deaths so far on the on the blaze spawner, so that's awesome. And we got two other skeleton skulls, so we are on the up and up for this episode. See you guys.